Hello YouTube, it's Jeffrey Bennies. Today we are going over my fall mugs. I have already done my Halloween mugs. If you want to watch that video, because I have a lot, I think a subscriber told me they thought I had like 70. <laughs> That's down below. There's going to be a couple like repeats. Not that many. I would say like only like two repeats and that's because I really didn't think I had fall mugs. I do and I also went shopping <laughs> and I think I got too many. But yeah, <laughs> please like, share, and subscribe and let's get started. If you're new here, hello. If you're a returning subscriber, one of my blueberries. Hiya, love ya. So how is everybody's fall? Mine is going amazing. I'm enjoying all of it. <laughs> But please like, share, and subscribe. I'll let you know where I got these mugs, a little story behind it, if I can remember. So let's go. All right, so the first mug is new. Still have the sticker on it. I haven't used it. It, it, it was $4.99, and this was at Burlington, and it is a stoneware mug. It has gourds and pumpkins all like, um, like embedded into the mug. And it feels so nice and it is a big mug. This is one of those mugs you could use for hot chocolate, soup, ramen, you know, just eating some grapes. That's this guy. This was another mug from Burlington and it is stoneware at the bottom. So it looks like it's like on a coaster, but that's stoneware. And it has all these beautiful different pumpkins, even ones with buffalo check and just like geometric um, lines, dots. Love that. Haven't used it yet either. I just unwrapped these. I bought them like a month ago, but I haven't used them yet. This one was $3.99 and it was by Austin and Ash. And then this guy's got a story. He was from last year. He's um, 3D. He pops out and it says, hello, gorgeous. It's got gourds on it and pumpkins and leaves. This side just a little like posy flower. This guy was like 40 cents. Yeah. At Home Goods after Halloween. Nobody wanted him. I felt sorry for it, so I bought it. And then this year he's being resold for like something crazy, like six dollars. I was like, what? This guy you can get on Amazon. It says pumpkin cup and it has a top. You can get a spoon for it as well. I didn't get the spoon. I just have this and this is one cup, so you can even use it for measuring. I like to keep I like to keep it in my kitchen and use it sometimes for that, for baking. This is a mushroom mug that was a gift and it's got the stoneware at the bottom and I think this is also a Austin and Ash and it has mushrooms. I'm obsessed with mushrooms. The inside is red and I'm actually gonna drink out of this one. I have two other mushroom mugs I don't drink out of, but this one will be great for that. Love, love, love the stoneware kind of mugs. I literally just put it down and broke it along with my Fox mug. This is my absolute favorite snuggle buddy. And I had a spoon in it that says, uh, hello fall. This is from Hobby Lobby. This guy was from Ross. Loved him. I'm gonna have to go find another. <laughs> oh, how upsetting. Well, moving on. This was the other mushroom mug that I don't use. He's from World Market. I've had him a bit. Okay, so here was the other um, mushroom mug that I keep out all year. Here's the base. And then it sets on this, the mushroom itself, and it has a little squirrel and he's holding an acorn. Like, look how cute that is. You can get this on Amazon, by the way. The company, I don't know how to say it, it's this. And I'll put the link down below for this one because I know it's still on there. They even have a teapot that goes with it that I'm hoping I get for Christmas as a Christmas present. Love that. <laughs> I usually have it faced like this. And then, this came with a fox bowl. I eat cereal out of it. The company is Global Design Connections, and there's like a little elephant. And it came on top of this that says, give thanks, and has two little leaves. And um, 
the foxtail. It's what that one was to like another version of the fox. And then this is also from that set. A little cute raccoon with a flower um, uh, crown, mushrooms, the inside's like this burnt orange. And the company, there's not a company, but it's so nice. And it's kind of like feels like stoneware, but I don't think it is. Got this in the hall when I went to Hobby Lobby. It is a green Cinderella like pumpkin, green on the inside. It is by Robert Stanley. And it's like imperfected fills, like it has little dimples. This is a ripoff Ray Dunn that I got as a gift. I like it and it says hello gorgeous the gourd really pretty $5.99 and then this one's an old one I've had for a long time my fox with a scarf mug this is huge this is my favorite hot chocolate mug no markings no you know company any of that he didn't even say like he was if he was microwave safe or dishwasher safe so we just had the chance that and he is he is definitely a dishwasher safe. Probably one of my favorite mugs, and I got him as a Christmas gift, and he had some fuzzy, like, socks in him. And then this one's an old one, too. This is by Portobello by Design. These are really good mugs from London. So raccoon, owl, fox with the scarf, raccoon, a different fox, and another owl. And the inside has foliage and leaves, and then all three of them, like, standing together. And I have another one similar to that. It's another Portobello de by design, but it's just all of a fox with the scarves and hats. More of that same foliage. And then he's sleeping. <laughs> Love that. But this, I think you can also get just like the raccoon as a whole mug and the owl as the whole mug. Love those so much. Portobello by design is a fabulous mug. Um, maker. So if you can find those, you should get them. I have a whole bunch of Halloween ones. Love them. The dishwasher safe. They're amazing. And this is a really old mug. I got me one. I got the green. It's an owl and it's like a quilted pattern. And I got my sister Rochelle one. She has a different color though. So we have matching. And these were like home essentials, I think, from Kohl's. Love those. This little cute <laughs> hedgehog, he's on the, the thumb part. So you actually hold him. And this has a texture feel to it. So cute. And he looks at you when you're drinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then this one I'm actually gonna get rid of. So I'm gonna donate it for someone else. And it's just a standard mug, just normal size. And it says, hello, Autumn. And it's acorns and sunflowers and gourds. I love that, but it's only on one side. And I don't like how it's just a, just a normal mug. So it's going to go. I got this one in Denver. There's that just a little itty bitty store. And it says, fall in love. And it's got some pumpkins. It has like a green one, a Cinderella kind of orange one with um, peach inside and the back is the same and it's a pretty big size mug so versus that like standard size it's pretty big then this one says spice spice baby and it has a leaf and it's like um indented in there and it feels like stoneware because it is at the bottom and it's textured i really like this one it feels nice when you're holding it then pumpkin spice everything. This was something from Hobby Lobby. The inside is orange with a little bit of black. It's also a huge mug. I've used this one and like it. This is a foam mug that I found at a thrift store. And it has a little gnome with a pumpkin pie and leaves. It has a little bit of discoloration now. I don't know if you can see it back in there. And I'm going to let this one go, too. Alright, so the next mug is this one with apples and a dog. This was from Hobby Lobby. It's a set. 
This is the other mug that I got. This one's supposed to be me as a dog. <laughs> and I got Rochelle, my sister, this one. So I gotta mail it off to her, but she's gonna love it. But those are at Hobby Lobby, and they even have um, plates in a tray. All right, so let's keep going. Beautiful fox mug with glasses and leaves in his ears. And then this owl with um, leaves for his ears. There's a raccoon and a squirrel, I think. That was also from Hobby Lobby. This is from my friend Tiffany years and years and years and years ago. She got it at TJ Maxx or Home Goods and it says pumpkin spice and everything nice and has gourds and pumpkins and foliage and even little acorns. An acorn and a leaf inside, which I love. And it is by this company and it is a very large um, mug. I use this for ramen, macaroni and cheese, hot chocolate. Okay, so next is this pumpkin spice and looks all goth or emo. It um, has a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin spice, skulls and cobwebs. It's on both sides, it's pink on the inside. And then this one, which is still like a standard cup, but see, it's like taller. Hello, fall, cozy sweaters, pumpkin spice lattes, weather, pumpkin pie, apple picking, crunching leaves, and pumpkins, both sides. And then this went with the Foxy that broke. It was supposed to be like an espresso and regular coffee. This is the espresso. Snuggle Buddy with a um, porcupine and mushrooms, and it's blue. A just pumpkin mug with the leaf. I love it. I love the shape. It is so soft. Like, great fall mug. This is going to be my new favorite. I just got this yesterday at um, Ross. It says, thankful, and it's like indented in there. And then it has a whole bunch of jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins, acorns, leaves, and it's all like what am I trying to say? Like folk arty. Oh, I just love that. I can't wait to eat soup out of this for my grilled cheese. Like that's my goal tomorrow is grilled cheese or squash soup. And then, you know, grilled cheese with it. This little cozy scene, which I like when I'm gaming, gets me in gaming mode. Blanket, pillows, leaves, um, pumpkins. I'm hoping to game tomorrow. This is a really tiny mug, by the way. That's the only good bad thing about it. I got this. This was in a two-pack on Amazon. It's Fox Mugs. I gave the other one to my friend Amanda. It's got little eyelashes, super cute, the ears, and it doesn't get in the way when you drink it, unlike some of the Disney um, Mickey Mouse ears that do. I've had this one for a long time. A whole bunch of owls, and it looks like somebody carved it by hand. It was pottery thrown. Says the artist down here, my friend Rochelle and I, um, which I call my sister, we went to Colorado Springs and they had a gift shop and I got this mug as my souvenir. This is a standard mug too. I don't really like it, but it does say my name. So I'm always like, I'll keep it. Pumpkin spice and everything nice, Samantha. And it's got pumpkin spice making peace signs and it looks very 70s. Orange in the inside, orange handle. It's okay. It's not like, it's not a, it's not a favorite. Then this is by the artist. Oh, what is the artist's name? Vicki Sawyer. She does these beautiful imagery of animals and like random stuff. Like this is fall produce. We've so got a squash, carrot, tomatoes, different birds and that beautiful hair. It's like that on this side and the camera's not showing, but it's not really a white. So this is white. It's more like this like kind of eggshell. And then it does have the bird setting on the carrot inside. Love her wolf mug so much. I want to get it like a fox one or a wolf one. They're beautiful. This a lot of my London friends will know. This is a uh, Emma Bridgewater. This is from the collection In the Woods. I have a second one. I'll show it to you, but it's broke. This says rabbits and hares. We've got all this beautiful foliage for the fall, a rabbit running up there, beautiful robins, and a bullfinch. 
that's really cute. I love the bottom. The top has rabbits running, rabbits playing patty cake, rabbits on a log. It's gorgeous. And then the other one, this is the broken one. This one has weasels on it, an owl, some ants, a bigger barn owl, and some acorns. I love it so much. I got it the same time as the other because this is the In the Woods series. And it got a chip in it right here. And um, they weren't ever the they weren't ever able to send me another. Uh, so they're just giving me money back. The inside has the weasels just running in a line and jumping. So now I'm like, what do I do with it? <laughs> I could make it into a flower pot, so I might do that. So I do still love those owls, but see how cute of a set that was. But Emma Bridgewater is a really famous uh, England company that does, that does mugs, and I'm pretty sure they're all hand painted. Um, and they're made in like a little, little, like limited amount. And they do different ones, but I really love their like colorful animal ones. So that was all of them. It makes me sad. I broke my mushroom and my fox, especially my fox. I went to like seven different Rosses looking for that because before this, I had found just the fox mug by itself. It was in a shorter little mug. And I couldn't find that one, but I found the one that came with the little hedgehog, hedgehog espresso. And I got super excited, so I was like, yes! So it's like this mug is cursed or something because I keep breaking the fox. So now I'm like, third time's a charm. Do I go hunt down this fox mug and another Ross? Which means I'm going to have to go to multiple Rosses. The mushroom mug should just be at Burlington, but yeah. Anyway... Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for coming to my channel. Please let me know which one of the fall mugs you enjoyed or which one that you're off hunting for. Or if it's not just a fall mug and it's like a spooky mug, write that on my spooky mug video. I, I try to read and reply to everybody because I think that's fun personally. Like I like doing that. But anyway, um, have a happy, safe fall and a happy, safe Halloween. Bye.